Hello and welcome to the latest health and wellbeing webinar from Asthma UK and the British Lung Foundation. Today's session is with Emily Hale of Build and Breathe Pilates. Remember, if you miss anything today, don't worry because you'll receive an email over the next day or so containing your replay link. And if you enjoy today's session, please do show your support by making a kind donation after the webinar. Your support will help us to continue defending the nation's lungs. Now, without further ado, let me hand you over to Emily for today's session. Hi guys, my name is Emily and I run Build and Breathe Pilates. Make sure you've got a nice sturdy chair. Um, something that's not too squishy is really important because if we're kind of sinking into an armchair, then we probably won't have the right posture to start with these movements. So find yourself something nice and sturdy. Now, we should be sat on the chair so that our feet can be planted on the floor. Because I'm quite short, I'm actually a little bit away from the back of the chair, but just get yourself really comfortable. And I want you to start by just sitting nice and tall, letting your shoulders relax, and we're just going to start with some nice deep breaths. Now, when we do our breathing with these exercises, we want to think about breathing into the sides of our rib cage. So we're really letting our ribs expand. Hold and letting them reduce as we breathe out. So focusing on that nice breathing pattern as we breathe in. Hold and breathe out. It's really important. So let's take a couple more of those nice deep breaths. Keep your shoulders relaxed, chest is tall. Lovely, once you've done that last one, we'll try and keep that breathing pattern going, but we're not thinking about it as consciously, but try and avoid your breath kind of coming up into your chest, which is what we do when we start to um, hyperventilate or get stressed. So keeping your breath nice and round by your rib cage. All I want you to do is drop your head over to one side Take a little stretch through the side of your neck and then we'll gently bring that head back up to centre and drop to the other side. So we're just taking it really nice and slowly and I want you to make sure you return back to the centre each time so we're not just dropping the head straight from left to right. Okay, if you want to make this a little bit deeper, completely optional, you can take the hand on the opposite side, just flex the wrist and stretch away. It's going to deepen that stretch down through your traps, which are those muscles just by our neck and our shoulders that get really quite tense and tight. Let's take that one more time on each side. Lovely, okay, return yourself back to the center. So one thing that I want us to really look at is that rounded posture that we tend to find ourselves in when we are desk working or doing a lot of driving. Um, so we're gonna think about some movements to really reverse that and pull those shoulder blades back together, strengthen through your upper back. So we'll start with our hands down um, by our sides. And all I want you to do is push your hands and your arms back behind you, squeeze those shoulder blades together, tight, 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 and then release. So what you should feel is as those shoulder blades squeeze, we feel a really nice bit of work going in between your shoulder blades, and then we release. We want to hold for about three, four seconds, not too long. Just squeezing behind, holding, well done. And then releasing. So we're going to do quite a high number of these. We're going to do eight. And you should start to feel um, those muscles really starting to fatigue. Good. We don't use these muscles very often because we are stuck in that rounded position. Um, so they do get tired quite quickly. Good. We've got three left to do. We're still holding for that same period of time if you can manage it. That kind of three or four seconds. Feet are still planted on the floor. This chair's really making me realise how short I am. Goodness, last one. Squeeze those hands behind you. Well done, and you can release. Lovely, so you might be feeling a little bit sore, but also hopefully a little bit more mobile through your upper back. Um, so we're gonna take that one step 
further and we're going to think about the muscles right at the top of your neck because the other thing that happens when we do sit in a hunched position is our neck starts to creep forwards. So to reverse that, we're going to do um, some chicken heads is what we'll call them. So again, our whole body is nice and relaxed, feet are grounded, and all we're gonna do is jut our chin backwards. We should feel a squeeze through the back of our neck, or we'll hold, and then release. So all we're doing is shifting the head directly backwards, as if someone's grabbing your hair, pulling that chin back, and releasing. What we want to avoid is just looking down because then we're stretching those muscles rather than strengthening them. So keep jutting the head back, holding and releasing. Again, we're going for about eight. So we're doing that three second hold. Getting a nice double chin. Good. Squeezing here. We've got three more to do. Again, these do feel quite meaty because we don't tend to use these muscles very often. Well done. I'm sure this is hilarious for you to watch me do. Last one. And you can release. Just give yourself a little shimmy. Really well done. So we should be feeling some muscle switching on that maybe haven't done a lot of work in a few years. Um, but let's bring... Um, the work slightly lower down in our body. So we're going to now think about some arm raises. Um, really important for this exercise that you keep your shoulders relaxed. So I want you to think shoulders away from ears. Hands are going to come and rest on top of your knees. And keeping those shoulders still, I just want you to lift your hands up over your head. Only as high as you can go before your shoulders want to shrug. And then we pause, bring those hands back down and go again. Coming all the way up, hold, and then coming back down. Now, whilst we're doing these, I want you to almost think about where you're engaging through your tummy, because if we just let our lower body relax and slump, what you can end up doing is coming into like a back bend and actually lifting from your core, can you see? So if you hold your core nice and steady, we get that feeling of pulling your belly button in towards your spine. It's gonna help you to stay really still so that as you lift those hands, the only thing moving are your arms and your torso then stays really nice and still. So thinking about that little bit of engagement through your tummy. And out, lovely. Just keeping nice steady breaths whilst you're here. I want you to think again about breathing into the size of your rib cage like we spoke about at the start of the session. Okay, we're going to take that three more times. Try and keep that steady pace going. Keeping those tummy muscles pulled in. Well done. And last one, lifting, holding and lowering back down. Well done, you can just relax for a second. Take a nice deep breath, get some life back into your arms because we were holding them out in front of us for quite a while um, and we're going to build on that with our next exercise. So, for this next one, same principles, shoulders are pulled down away from your ears, core is pulled in so we're holding our torso nice and still. Hands are going to come down by your sides and we're lifting in a different direction this time so hands are now coming out, up to shoulder height, and back down. Now this is helping to strengthen through your shoulder, giving you some nice stability round through your upper arm, round behind your shoulder blades, and we're also working your lats, which help to pull shoulders down away from your ears. So lots of muscles working here that don't get a lot of work in our normal seated, rounded posture. Try and keep yourself upright, don't let yourself slump to do the movement. So we're thinking chest is tall, tummy's engaged. Good. And just keeping that steady breath as you go. Lovely, keep on going. We're again doing about eight in total, so we've got three left to do. Well done, keeping holding that core, keeping you nice and upright. And last one, well done. Lifting, come all the way down slowly and then you can relax. Take a breather.
that really well done. We're gonna leave your upper body alone for a minute because all of that arm work does drain the blood out of them. So get them nice and moving again. Um, and we're gonna come and think about our legs. Now, when we're working with legs in a seated position, it can feel quite wobbly. You're welcome to hold onto a table or a nearby wall if you need, but otherwise we'll just try and sit upright like we have been so far. I want you to rest your hands on your thighs if you're not holding on to anything. And all we're going to do is lift a heel, one at a time, up onto tips toes, and then plant down, lifting up and planting down. I'm going to have to shuffle forwards. Um, my legs are so tiny, you may have the same issue, um, that your heels aren't quite on the floor. So all we're doing is alternating those heels. Now this might feel quite easy because there's not a lot of weight on those legs, but it's more about mobilising through the ankle and also working all these muscles that help with that motion. So your hip flexors are starting to get a little bit of work and we'll build on that in a second. Um, your quads and your hamstrings just warming up here, but mostly we're getting some work through your calves at the base of your leg. Okay, if you're feeling confident too, we can pull this into a double heel lift. So we'll just start to peel both heels off the floor and plant back down. Again, just keeping your upper body nice and relaxed, making sure we're not slumping, that we're not doing anything that's going to hold any tension through shoulders um, or our neck. So keeping with this mobilisation, we're going to take this five more times. You might start to feel a little ache through your calves at the back of your lower legs, uh, or even through your ankles, that's good. We want to get those muscles working. If anything that we do does cause any pain, please just stop, adapt, um, and see how you go from there. Okay, we've got two more to do. Well done. And last one, well done. Plant those feet back down. You can give your feet a little shake off if they need. And what we're gonna do for our last meaty exercise is to bring the whole leg into a bit of work. So, we not only need to think about holding ourselves tall, tummies engaged to make sure we don't slump, we also need to think about pelvic stability now because we're going to be lifting one leg off the floor. What happens is, as we lift that leg, it's easy to roll yourself over to compensate for that leg lift. So I want you to place your hands on your hips. You can even find those two little knobbly hip bones at the front of your pelvis to hold on to. And we'll try and make sure that they stay level throughout the exercise. Now, similarly to before, we're going to lift a heel of one foot, and we're now going to lift the tip toes and just attempt to extend that leg away from us. Now, it may be that it doesn't move very far, that's absolutely fine, just even hovering those toes off the floor can be a good challenge for your abs, especially at the front of your core. If you can manage it, the full move is to move to a leg extension where that knee is fully extended, the leg's nice and straight, We'll plant it back down and we'll swap to the other side. So I just want you to work within your own range of movement here. Don't worry about straightening the leg if it doesn't want to. We'll build up to that. Again, making sure you're not compensating for that leg lifting, trying to keep those hip bones nice and stable. Tummies nice and engaged, chest is tall, shoulders are relaxed. There's lots to think about, I know. And all this time, we're just keeping that nice, steady breathing pattern. So we're making sure to not bring our breath up into our chest. We want to take slow and steady breaths into the side of our rib cage. Good, so we're feeling that work, especially through our quads now at the top of our thighs. Um, we might also be feeling this quite a lot in our abs. I know I am, just to hold myself up. Keep on going. These are looking really good. Good. Okay, last two on each leg. Holding yourself up. Making sure you're not getting any tension through those shoulders. Well done, last one each side. Just lifting the leg as high as you can manage. Good stuff. Once you've done that last one, 
you can just bring your hands down to wherever's comfortable. Again, take a nice deep breath. Just to let your body relax. Well done. So I've got one last little exercise for us to do. Just a nice stretch. Hands can come down by the sides of your chair and we're coming into a side bend. So try and keep your hips still again. We're just going to drop over to one side. Now, the bend should come from your upper spine, your thoracic spine. So we don't want to be rolling off and letting our bottom lift. Keep those hips still, drop to one side, come back up and then dropping to the other side and coming back up. Now it is a tricky one to balance here because you don't want to obviously roll off of the chair. Um, but if you do feel quite stable, you can have a play around with arm position. So maybe on this next one, you could bring a hand up to your temple or even stretch that arm over your head and then come back. Um, as I say, it just means that your central gravity is way off from usual and it's quite tempting to actually just uh, roll and fall off of the chair. So see how you feel. Don't worry about adding arms in if that's not working for you today. Just keep your feet grounded on the floor. Hips should be nice and still, both bottom cheeks on that chair. And we'll take this once more on each side. Just make sure you're nice and evened up. Lovely, bring yourself back to the middle and we're all done. So I hope that was helpful. I hope you enjoyed getting a little bit of mobility work um, whilst we're seated. What we'll do over the next four sessions is we'll think about ways that we can strengthen a lot more through our legs, a lot more through our upper backs, areas that do get neglected when we do sit down. So I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I will see you at the next one. Um, thank you so much for joining. I'll see you soon. Thank you once again for joining us today. I really hope that you enjoyed today's session with Emily. And thank you to Emily. Remember to check out her website, buildbreathe.co.uk for more information about her work. And don't worry if you missed anything, because as I said earlier, you'll receive an email over the next day or so containing a replay link for today's webinar. Also, if you did enjoy today's session, please do consider making a small donation your support will help us to continue defending the nation's lungs. Now, on behalf of myself and everyone here at Asthma UK and the British Lung Foundation, thank you once again for joining us. Stay safe and I look forward to seeing you all again soon.